your life is always being challenged. Do you understand when I say a challenge is a form of awakening? For most, the choices they make are there to protect the sameness that they've designed for their life. In many ways, sameness creates routines that mentally lull you to sleep. It's the sameness that allows you to not think, but just do. Now, many of these routines are fine. They become the mechanical things we do. Bathe, brush our teeth, <laughs> make sure our clothes are on before we leave the house. You get the idea of what I'm talking about, right? But when it comes to the development of you designing your life to move forward, many of the choices are designed to keep you existing in your circle of sameness. These choices are what pit you against yourself. Now, listen to this. These choices create the war you fight daily. They have you living through the rearview mirror. They open your life to unnecessary stress. They involve listening to the wrong people. They cause conflict when it comes to change. And they extract your creative spirit. You know, they create a blind spot when it comes to opening your mental eye to see what you're missing. When it comes to the resistance to stepping out of your circle of sameness. One of the most consistent challenges you face in your life is letting go of what has been your life. As long as you choose to hang on to you're living from yesterday to today. One of the purposes of challenge is to prepare you to be prepared to see the opportunities that are in your life, to have the mental strength to stay focused and complete and implement the growth from the challenge. Preparation is not about a moment in your life. It begins with being able to answer the question, what do I really want for my life? Until you can answer that question, there's really nothing for you to prepare for. Preparation is your mind drawing the blueprint to where you want your life to go. It's the beginning of understanding what it means to live forward. Many times the challenge that comes to your life is whether your commitment is simply words or a commitment with conviction. If what you say you really want for your life is not filled with conviction, it'll fall apart when the terrain shifts and you have to pause and make corrections. You see, a big part of life is you learning that one of the challenges that comes to your life is your ability to adapt and adjust your life to the newness. And I'd like us to focus a few minutes on adapting and adjusting your life to newness. It's really important you never forget the pathway to your success is never a straight line. It's about being able to adapt and adjust to the consistent shifting the terrain goes through. Everything in your life will shift. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean the foundation is lost. It just means you must be aware of what is happening. Prepare on a daily basis and adapt to what the terrain is showing you. 
and adjust in a timely fashion. If you procrastinate with what you must do to navigate the shifting terrain, it will swallow you. It'll cause you to lose focus. And it will destroy the pathway you must travel to get to the finish line. Adapting is you with a clear head. The ability to take an honest look at what is and have an understanding that clearly understands why this adapting must be done. If the adapting is not done and is pushed aside, the shifts in the terrain will allow the terrain to redesign in whatever way it wants to. When you, when you understand the need to adapt, you approach with a new mindset. You draw an adjusted blueprint for your life. You add new information. You place the emphasis on the must do. And you know what? You trust your instinct. Once you understand where and what must be adapted, now you have to make the adjustments, <laughs> which means you must know where and when to make these adjustments. Now, listen to what I'm going to say to you. Adapting is much easier to understand than doing the adjustments. Did you listen to me? Adapting is much easier to understand than doing the adjustments. Adapting is seeing the weakness and adjusting is shoring up where the weakness is. Now, this is not an either or choice. It's connecting the two so that the plan to navigate the new terrain is strong. When you add adjusting to adapting, what do you do? You align yourself to the new blueprint. You do what must be done to gain clarity. You unleash the power the new design creates. You see the new pathway with clarity. And you tie the process together with strength. When these two have come together, they become part of the protective armor that can withstand the outside attacks that will come at you. When you aren't willing to adapt and adjust, your design is to resist, not accept, and position yourself to repeat, not improve. It locks you into living from yesterday to today. When you really take a look at the power a challenge brings to your life, you will understand the importance of adapting and adjusting. So, do you ever struggle with adapting and adjusting? You ever struggle with letting go? Do you hang on to things you shouldn't hang on to? If that's true about you, you and I need to talk. And I'd like to talk to you about my series, Letting Go. Reach out to me at richard at richardflint.com and, and let's talk about your need to adapt and adjust. Let's talk about your resisting doing what you know you need to do. Richard at richardflint.com. You know what? I just might be a person that's been placed in your life to help you. What have you got to lose? Richard at richardflint.com. Reach out to me. And let's just have a brief conversation. Richard at richardflint.com.